You're watching Chipping the Cut with Lee Robertson and Mike Benjamin. But I'll still find glitter up every crevice anyway. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our fully lubed up and ready to go show. Isn't that your grinder profile? Fully lubed up and not, ready to go? Not, not quite fully lubed and ready to go, but ready to go is in there. Yeah, okay. Have you had a nice pride? It, it was very good. I'm very, very tired now. Very Are you tired. sat on an absorbent sheet? I, I'm, I, this, this has been additionally padded. Nice. Yes, on my back. Oh, okay. Mm, that's not what you thought I was going to say, is it? No, okay. Mm -hmm. What have you got for us this week then, Mike? Well, I've got the hottest news, including what's happening with beans. Oh. On screen now, you can see our contact info. Yep, it's at the Cud TV on social media, where you can follow us. The TV for our website. And on YouTube or a podcast service, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as names fly across the bottom of the screen, we brace ourselves for this week's showbiz with Lee. Would you like some showbiz news? I'd like a little bit. And then I'd like a little oh. bit more. Not really feeling it today. I might just talk about gardening. OK, I'll do gardening then. I'm not going to talk about showbiz. Oh, OK. Yeah. So... You know how I like to watch a little bit of Netflix? A little bit. Little bit, a, a little lot bit. of Netflix. <laughs> um, well, the Netflix have announced that they are, they, they, they say drop, I don't like to say that, it sounds drop, like. Dropping as in getting Dropping middle? a new Oh, program. as in down with the kids. Yeah, yeah. so, so they're, going, they're going to, to be um, showing a animated cartoon. Porn. Not porn. No. Well, it could be. So it's about a gay James Bond. And it's a series full of drag queens and naked daddies. Oh. Now, I don't think... I think that's just clickbait to get you to watch it. I don't think there are going to be any naked daddies You're going to watch it, it though, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> that's, just I think it might out. be clickbait. Click. Click, yeah. So it's called Q-Force, right? And um, it stars... Well, it doesn't star because he's not real, but he's been drawn. <laughs> um, the character is called Steve Merriweather, also known as Agent Mary. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, so he apparently graduates top of his class in... Um, um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to laugh at the fact he graduated top. Top of his class in his spying or okay. whatever it is that he does. And is it, so they announce that, you know, he's won at the graduation. Okay. And he uses that to come out and say, oh, I'm gay. And then... Because they're a little bit homo, well, not a little bit, a lot homophobic. <laughs> they kind of engineer it so that somebody else gets the top award, uh -huh. and he's kind of like sent to the to to somewhere where they don't think there's going to be any problems. But he he doesn't. So what he does is he um, gets together a group of other people. Okay, <laughs> really selling this well, aren't I today? Um, um, so uh, they're all LGBT plus characters. Okay. Um, and it's kind of like a bit like, oh, like a crime fighting. They're not superheroes. It's like Scooby Doo. Kind of like Scooby Doo. It's we've like got, we've got gay a Scooby Doo. We've got <laughs> <laughs> a gay Scooby Doo. I don't think there's a dog in it. Not sure. We've got a picture of. Um, so this is the picture of, of the cast. I don't think they walk around like that all the time. Disappointed. Disappointed. Although you know they they, they could. They, 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 they've gone to the gym a bit. They have got and that gentleman has got a massive weapon. He has got a massive weapon. Mm. So it's going to be... So the lead character is being voiced by Sean Hayes, mm. who was in Will and Grace. Um, Jack, just Jack. Hello. Um, and <laughs> comedy legend Wanda Sykes, who I love. Love Wanda. Um, she is going to be playing the sassy mechanic Deb. Mm -hmm. And then there's um, trans actor uh, Patty Harrison, who is going to be playing, playing Q-Force's brilliant yet guarded resident hack. So um, we've got um, from left to right on the screen, we've got um, Patty Harrison, Wanda Sykes and um, Sean Hayes. There. Sean Hayes is gold. I don't think that's bad. Mm. When you think of what celebrities do to themselves... Um, <laughs> to keep themselves looking young, that often oh, right, okay. doesn't look good. Oh, you mean like um, Zac Efron in the chin? Yeah. yeah. He's, that isn't good. I've seen a promo for something else, mm -hmm. and I'm like, no, you've not banged your face. 
because that's what he was saying. I yeah. bang my face. You've, yeah. you've had something done. Um, it still looks comfortable, though. It looks fine, but you kind of think, well, anyway, it's not about him. <laughs> it's not about him. Um, so this is um, premiering on September, early September, 10 episodes. Okay. On, on Netflix. I'm not, I, I will watch the first episode and, and kind of decide because we've had lots of these kind of cartoons. There was the drag queen superhero mm -hmm. cartoon which was a piffle when, we, when, when it came out. So, mm. Mm. Um, next bit of showbiz news. Uh -huh. um, sadly, earlier this year, Nikki Graham from Big Brother yeah. died. Um, Channel 4 are going to commemorate her by doing a documentary. Right. So, um, it's going to be an hour long documentary. Um, it kind of features all about her life mm -hmm. and um, her time on Big Brother and kind of all that. We've got some pictures of her here on the screen. Um, she was only 38 when she died in April this year. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it, it's, you know, her mum's in it. Um, her friends are in it. Um, kind of like wanting to put across the point that she was so much more than a reality TV mm -hmm. star. Um, it's got archive footage. It's got home movies from her family. Um, looks, you know, and I mean, above all things, she was hilarious, mm -hmm. regardless of what was going on in her life. Yeah, she she was even if she didn't mean to be at times. No, she 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 was genuinely very funny. Who is she? Who is she? We've got a pic, we've got she? a picture <laughs> of her in the the chair in her bikini. In her who is she moment. In her who is she moment, which is amazing. <laughs> uh, and that is kind of, but there was like so much more, I was like watching clips um, of her in, and all the different, she was in a couple of times, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. She did like uh, housemates She was in the of, celebrity one first, Yeah, she was she? in the celebrity one. Non-celebrity. Non-celebrity one. And then she came back as a celebrity in the celebrity one. one. <laughs> and then, yeah, so she was in a, a couple of different ones. And there was just like so many funny, we've got, here's the picture of her going, who is she? she? Who is she? Is she? Um, <laughs> the, 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 one, the other one that I loved the most was when they put them in those, do you remember those suits that they put them in, that they used to randomly give them electric shocks? <laughs> <laughs> if they didn't like dance nonstop and she just went <laughs> mental. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so it's, you know, it's really, really sad that, that what happened, but they're kind of celebrating her life and, and her achievements. Last bit of showbiz news. Mm. It's that time of year. Da, 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 da. <laughs> um, yes. Whenever I hear come dancing, <laughs> I'm always disappointed. Oh, You might not be this year. Is it going to be a load of sperm doing a jive? Hopefully. We can only hope. Okay. Uh, it's going in that direction. Um, so they've announced the lineup for, for this year, for 2021, and they're going to be having their first same-sex male couple. Ooh. Okay, so the lineup's been re revealed. Um, again, it's one of those where I probably know half of them. Okay. So we, we've got a picture of, of the, the cast. Um, going from left to right across the screen, we've got Adam Peaty, he's um, an MBE and he's also an Olympic swimmer. Yeah. We've got Judy Love, she's a comedian and a presenter. Mm -hmm. She's also a regular panelist on Loose Women. We won't hold that against it. Nah. Uh, we've got John Waite, who's a TV chef, who we will go back to talk talking about shortly. We'll get it as well. Um, we've got daughter of Gordon Ramsay, Matilda, <laughs> Tilly Ramsay. So this is when we're kind of starting yeah. to scrape the celebrity. <laughs> My dad's famous. Um, apparently, she, she's, she's a chef herself. She's a right. social media influencer. I hate that uh, term. I love that term. Do you? I influence, be I influence people uh, as well. I influence them to press the unfollow button every day. Yeah, every time they say it. Um, Reese Stevenson who is an actor and children's TV presenter. Um, Dan Walker, who is from... They always have a BBC News yeah. presenter. Mm -hmm. So he's he's met that quota. I'm, I'm hoping I'm saying his name right. Hugo Monnet. Hugo Monnier. He's a former England rugby player. So he's got the thighs. Good. Okay. Um, and then we've got AJ Odudu, who is a TV presenter, um, who's been on lots of different things. Nina Wadia, who is an actress best known for being in EastEnders. Oh, it just goes on and on and on. So we've got, we've got him from um, McFly. Yes, one of the McFly boys. One of the McFly That's boys. Tom from McFly. Tom from McFly. And Ninro. Yeah. Another actress who was in EastEnders. I don't watch EastEnders. She's called Rose Ailing Ellis. Um, so I know some of those gentlemen. I know some of them. Not as many as, you know, but... Yeah. The, 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 yeah. So they've 
jiggled around with the judges oh, well. this year as well. So, <laughs> is that allowed? <laughs> so Anton de Beck is filling in for Bruno Tollione. I don't know where Bruno is. Perhaps he's going for a rest. I don't know. Um, so Chili Ballas, Craig Revel Hallward and Motsi Mabusi. They're, they're back. Now, the kind of whole sort of male same... You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's have him bring us the buzz. Have you got a party trick, Lee? That you can tell people about, obviously, not the one with the bottle and the... I can do, I can remove my eyeball, wash it, polish it and pop it back in. Okay, do you want to do that now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want people to get freaked out by this because it is very, very realistic. Okay. okay. So I'm going to take my eye out. Okay. Okay. Take it out. All right. Bit of polish. And then. Ah, oh, there you go. Are you amazed? <laughs> oh, I'm amazed that came out of your brain. <laughs> No, it was just the eye. The brain stayed in. <laughs> yeah, you know, next time you do that trick, don't open your eye midway through doing it. I didn't. I kept it. I kept it close all the way through. I can do the. Th oh no, I can't do the. Th I can do that. Can I so no is your answer. <laughs> <laughs> can you do a party trick, Lee? No, no. I have no party tricks. <laughs> okay. Um, well, this story is is of a goose that has a party trick. A goose that has a, a party goose. trick. Goose. <laughs> yes. Um, so a goose went viral on social media. Okay. Okay. As a videographer, that's a photographer with video, right? Did my mm. um, videoed a goose flying upside down. A goose flying upside down, and the experts have said he was just showing off. Is it real? It's real. The goose is actually flying He's upside down. Showing off down. to his friends. Okay. Just showing off to their friends. So there's lots of stories about it being photoshopped and that sort of thing. Okay. And experts are like, no, they can fly upside down. Oh, okay. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of energy. <laughs> so why would you bother apart from to show off? Oh, all right. What a silly goose. <laughs> literally a silly goose, yeah. A literally a silly goose. Yeah. Oh, and how long, why, was he just sat waiting for that to happen? Or did it, it just, just coinky dinkily happen? Yeah, it was just, just filming. Goose went upside down, upside down flying. Okay, crashed into a window. <laughs> slid down Distance the wall. some people on a canal <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed it, turned it into foie gras. Happy days! Hey! Everyone's a winner apart from the goose. <laughs> oh, okay. I just thought that was quite a nice little story. Yeah, it was, a yeah. A goose that could do a party trick. It didn't, ha it didn't have like some hideous illness that made it fly upside <laughs> like, like, like brain tumour or something like, like that. Brain tumour that made it go, it's fly upside down. <laughs> no, it's funny, didn't. but it's not. No, it was fine. It was just showing it's off. Fine. Just showing okay. off. Yes, okay. it can fl fly upside down. It takes a lot of en energy and effort. Why would you bother apart from to show off? Sounds a bit like life in general. <laughs> like any party trick. Yeah. Really? It's there yeah. just to show off. It is, like yeah. Like pulling your eye out. It's, it's important to keep one's eye clean. <laughs> Four-year-old children find that trick hilarious. Do they? And a little bit scary sometimes. Mm, I'm not surprised. I was a bit concerned about it, to be fair. Get your nose. <laughs> oh, dear. You know you want social distancing to come back. <laughs> <laughs> so... <clears throat> Have you ever been on a night out and decided you wanted to lock in? Uh, no. Do you I, know what a lock in is? Yeah, it's when you can't 
you don't have the self-control to take yourself home. So you stay there all night. <laughs> it's not, you can't. It's you choose, you choose not, not to. to. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, locking's going to be fun, though. No, I need to be home in bed by 10, regardless of the situation. <laughs> yeah, locking's regardless still happen at 10. Yeah, like. <laughs> uh, so if it's before 10, that's fine. You know, if they close... <laughs> you want a daytime locking. They close, what, like, Greg's at, like, 6. <laughs> And then, you know, stay up until, you know, lock until 10. That's all good. But not, <laughs> not any later than that. Okay. Because uh, there's a new themed bar popping up in lots of different places. Oh, okay. Um, which has got the name of Alcatraz Bar. Oh, I see what they did. Mm. And what this is, is actually, it's a bar that's designed like a prison. Okay. So there's one in Manchester, there's one in London. Mm -hmm. And you go in and you, you get to wear orange jumpsuits, which look flattering for everybody. Okay. Yeah. Um, and basically, you, you get brought booze, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in the style of being in prison. So you're in a cell on a bunk. Moonshine. Moonshine. It, it's actual booze. A real it's booze. booze. Yeah, it's a bar. Not like fermented from your own what, excrement. excrement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't ferment booze from your own excrement. Can you not? No. I thought they did. No. Not wee wee. No. Potatoes and wee. Potatoes, yes. Okay, but not we. Maybe using the way to sterilise because we's... Okay. Oh, we've slipped there. We've slipped into... We've gone, yeah, we've gone down in a diff completely different route. <laughs> that's science, that is. It is, isn't it? We're sterile, yeah. <laughs> so, up for that? No. Okay. Uh, I, don't like the, I don't like the idea of that. That doesn't look comfortable. That doesn't look nice. Jumpsuits are quite comfy. <laughs> so, our, our next story. Okay. Okay, I have to ask, have you ever dressed up as a, a woman? Don't you judge me. I've um, asking you a question. Nick. Yeah, I have. Have you? On a number of occasions. And, and what would you call yourself at that point? A man dressed as a woman. Would you? No, I... Oh, well, you've not got a picture of something, have you? Would you not call yourself oh, anti-inflammatory? Oh, no! Well, yeah. Anti-inflammatory there, for those people that don't know. Me as a drag queen. Fortunately, that no longer exists on the internet. You can put it back. <laughs> I can cut it. Um... <laughs> So I'll just pop anti-inflammatory back there. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Would you beautiful. like to explain what anti-inflammatory is? No. No. <laughs> it's just the time you dressed up. <laughs> <you're> <laughs> it's, it's quite obvious. <laughs> um, well, this was a gentleman who disguised himself as his wife. Okay. As he'd recently had a positive COVID test and wanted to board a flight. There's always an option. That's, that, that wouldn't work. No one's going to believe you that you're anybody <laughs> other than a drag queen. Um, <laughs> but yeah, a gentleman who's only been described as DW. Okay. Um, boarded the flight with his wife's um, COVID passport. Okay. I right, say, no, that's me. And it's like, well, it's quite clearly your wife. No, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, got on board and then they went, no, nah, you're not your wife. And he went, I am my wife. No, you're not. Get off. <laughs> Actually, right. The concerning thing about this is he got on the he managed to get on the plane. Uh -huh. So through passport control and security, nobody thought, oh that looks a bit iffy. Yeah. Well, face masks. Even then. <laughs> he didn't have a beard. It's not like me with a face mask where it's still ginger beard sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> well, he would have to well, he'd have to be exactly the same size as his wife well, to no, fit into his... her clothes. <laughs> was he not wearing her no, clothes? No, it wasn't that elaborate. <laughs> he was basically saying, I am my wife. Oh, right, okay. He hadn't... He hadn't right, okay. On the foot. He just disguised himself. Right, okay. As mask was over his face. Was he wearing a wig? No. No! <laughs> well, how... What, have we got a picture of him, just as... <laughs> have we got nothing to, to, cut, to look at, to see? I've shown you the picture already. Oh, flash it up again. That... <laughs> yeah. What... So he was actually just using his wife's details. No effort was made to actually look like his wife. <laughs> he no. just took her passport. I'm a wife. I'm, I'm a wife. Well, the COVID um, passports and things don't have a picture on them. It's just a QR code. Okay. So you're scanning in as you go. Right. And it was okay. basically when they got on the plane, I went, hang on, that says Mrs. Yeah. Well, I think in, you'd have to be... Oh, it's one of those... It's tricky, that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because, yeah... But yeah, um, if you want to interact with us on social media, don't forget it's at the Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv, and on YouTube we're under Chewing the Cud. And now it's time for story of the week. It's a food story, Lee. Mm, great. Now, we've had things in the past that we've bought from shops mm -hmm. that we've tried, and you've enjoyed some of them. Mm -hmm. 
a long time ago, we had a vegan sausage roll. Excuse me. That that was the vegan sausage roll <laughs> repeating itself 12 months later. Um, that was very salty. It was very salty. Mm. But yeah, it was enjoyable. Wasn't it was it? fine. It was a vegan product. Well, Greg's have gone a step further as they have now brought out a cheese, bean and sausage pasty, but it's vegan. Okay. What are you pulling that face for? I don't like beans. You don't like beans? No. You're going to hate this then. Yeah. <laughs> because... Under my lovely cloche. Now, I went to the Greggs. And the Greggs. The Greggs. And they didn't have any. Sold out, man. So, they had actually sold out of all the vegan ones and the non-vegan ones. Oh. Right? So, so I had to make my own. So it's not a Greggs, it's a Feggs. Okay. Oh. That, that looks relatively normal. Yeah. Um, but it's vegan pastry. Beans are vegan anyway. Vegan oh, okay. cheese and vegan sausage. Okay. So I've got one, and we can cut it in half, hopefully, and have a try each. I've not actually tried this yet. I've just made it. <laughs> Take a piece. <laughs> Looks a bit dry. Yeah. <laughs> it Looks quite dry. So there's not much filling so, in there, Mike. There's a there's, lot there's of quite, pastry. There's actually quite a lot of filling waiting there. Okay. I think most it of the vegan cheese has disappeared. Okay. But yeah. It smells. Okay. <laughs> It's actually quite nice. It's not, it's mean. Oh, that's dry. <laughs> Ooh. It's very dry. No there's, moisture. There's, there's, there's no animal fat in it, that's why. <laughs> no moisture. Very tomato -y. That's because I used a lot of the... Because I was there going, that's going to be very dry. I used a lot of the tomato sauce from the, the beans. Yeah. I don't really technically get... If you're vegan, you don't want to eat any animal products. Mm -hmm. But then why go and eat things that are supposed to represent and taste like animal products? It's a bit of an odd... Well, to me, it's a bit of an odd thing. Well, it's like bacon. It doesn't taste of bacon. No. That's all from the buzz this week. Well, thank you, Mike. I will hopefully, at some point this week, regain the moisture in my mouth. Um, stay with us, because coming up next, we've got our Game of the Week. Hello, you're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we are playing What's Another Name for Synonym? And the rules are quite simple. All Mike has to do is, so, oh, hang on now. Off you pop, Mike, go on. Off you pop, off you pop, off you pop. Go in, go in. MBR, ooh, MBR, MBR, MBR. Your, your initials sound a little bit like member. Like member, it's like a cock joke. Game of the Week. You like this one, don't you, Lee? I always struggle with this game because I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> do you still not know what you get, what you're supposed to do here? Guess what the word, what you're saying is referring to. Yeah, so I'm going to give you three clues to this yes. word. And then I have to guess, okay. To, and guess after each one, but you get three goes. So I really like this one. Do you? That's what you just said. Yeah. Don't know. Okay. Another one. No, no, no. That's no. I was just asking if you know what to play the game. <laughs> We're just gonna start. We're just gonna start. It's fine. Have you started? No. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought that. I thought. <laughs> I thought you'd started. Just having a, a senior moment. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, just a bit of conversation, Natalie. That's all. So we're going to start now. Start now. Yeah. Okay. Go for okay. Divination. Divination. Water. No. Okay. Which is brew? That's not like, so divination is to do with water. Which is brew is to do with witches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to have the third one. I don't, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. You can also use runes. Yeah, what? Rules. Runes. 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 Old claptrap that people believe in. No, entrails. What? <laughs> entrails. That that has no, that has no relation to what you've just said. It does. Divination is part of using entrails. 
Sorry, I forgot. Not we, I, thought, I forgot we, it was had become the pagan channel. Okay, that's let's. Uh... That's the word that's on the card. It's all right. It's all right. Calm down. Chicken. <laughs> hula dancing. Chicken hula dancing. Hula dancing. Hawaiian pizza. Hawaiian pizza, which is pineapple and ham. Yeah. So, yeah, no. I'm just not trying anymore, are I'm you? not, I'm just, yeah. <laughs> You're just saying don't, words. Just don't care. <laughs> just don't care. Okay. Um, overly excited. Chicken doing a hula dance and overly excited. I still don't think know what I'm supposed to be doing on this game. Um, overly excited. Funky chicken. A penis in a penis ring. A cock ring? No, because I can't use the word ring if it's on the card. Oh. It was cock a hoop. Oh, I, would, no, I wouldn't have got that in a million years. Cock a hoop. <laughs> Who uses that phrase? The producer does. I don't know. Okay. Popper. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> no? <laughs> Not Papa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> next one. <laughs> okay. Zit. Acne. No, because that was my next clue. Oh. <laughs> Skin conditions. No. So, popper, zit, and... Acne. Well, I was going to say, not a blackhead. There you go. A whitehead. A whitehead. I don't like this game. Pimple. A pimple. Pimple popper. To show you love to watch. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Reason you were late to come into the studio today? Traffic. Actual reason why you were late to come to the studio today? Tra A car accident. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> A real reason. <laughs> no? The real reason you were late coming to the studio today. Just couldn't be asked. No, it was diarrhea. Oh. <laughs> Next one. Node. Node. Chode. This is Just a rhyming game. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, it's not limp, but it sounds like it. Sounds like limp, but isn't limp. Are you sure it's not a rhyming game? I'm sure it's not a rhyming game, but you, you're going for rhyming, so I thought I'd help you out a little bit. Limp. Blimp. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I've just heard him here. Oh, for f**k's <laughs> sake. Blimp node. Blimp node. Is that a word? I don't know what any of it's about anyway. Okay. Um, we just had a buzz. It was lymph. Lymph node. Oh, okay. Something simple. Got a simple one for you now. Nice one. Okay. A nice easy one. Pop, pop your vocal cords around it. Laughing gear, I believe the phrase is there. <laughs> um, couples in cars. Dogging. Dogging is correct. Well Woo! done. <laughs> keep it, keep it smutty. Keep it simple. I'll get them every time. Don't, don't be using convoluted. Yeah, words. Try not to use words. Cheese with a red skin. Baby, 
about no oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can see its insides as well as the outsides Is it Edam? It is Edam, yes. Okay, how can you see it's insides as well as it's outsides? Because when you buy Edam in the UK, it's already sliced, isn't it? Oh, Baby Bellows are not, though. Are they no. Edam? They're, they're a similar type of cheese. Okay. Yeah. But this isn't the cheese channel, Lee. It's not the cheese, just <laughs> fromage. Okay, malaria. <laughs> Cheryl Cole. No. <laughs> no. Um, that's a current reference. <laughs> <laughs> it is, because it's just not been called Cole for years. <laughs> okay, let's And have... you do our showbiz. Um, we bitey thing. Mosquito. Mosquito, correct, yeah. Bee flying mosquito, bee flying mosquito. There's a song. But I don't know, what it, don't know what the rest of it is. Ball bag. Testicles. Nope. Wrinkly thing. Scrotum. Scrotum, correct. <laughs> Mine's not wrinkly. Huh? I've had some scrotox. <clears throat> scrotox. That's my question. When you see all these beauty products and things advertised, mm -hmm. and they say, you know, we'll get rid of wrinkles, why do they not test that on scrotums? <laughs> Perhaps they do, Mike. Because if don't you could know. smooth one of them out, you know, you're onto a winner, aren't you? Well, yeah. 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 Just a thought. Hmm. I've not got an image of you now. <laughs> Legs akimbo on your bed, putting over oil of you lay all over your taint and going, is it smooth? <laughs> <laughs> is it not oil of ole now? Is it? It's been oil. Is it oil of you lay or oil of ole? The rings of Saturn. Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No, really, will you put Uranus away? I can't. <laughs> it's always out. Gaping. I'm okay. trying to see. Um, you could see whether you have one in a pair of grey joggers. Rings of Saturn? Like a floppy cock. <laughs> no. That's what you like in grey joggers, isn't it? What you can see in grey joggers, yeah. Floppy cock. If you've got one. If you've got a floppy cock. Yeah. Yeah. Or an erect cock. Whatever you want. Whatever whatever state it's in. You've got a cock. Can we go on? Can we, can we move on? <laughs> can it be removed for religious or health reasons? Oh. A foreskin. Foreskin, yes. One, two, three, foreskin. Yes. Do you have foreskin? Why, do, why did I ask that? <laughs> that I was... think that's gone long enough now. Yeah, I think it has. Yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it has. Well, thank you for that, Mike. I, I feel a bit more cleverer now. Stay with us, because after this quick break, it's that science, that is. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's that part of the show that we like to think as a homosexual version of tomorrow's world. That's science, that is. That science, that is. Um, who said it was a homosexual tomorrow's world? I just quite like the reference. Do you remember tomorrow's world? Yeah, but anybody born after 1990 won't. Well, it's all, it's all logistics, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, so today we're going to talk about, about magical things that we use every day. <gasps> uh, namely, our mobile phone devices. Oh! Now, do you know how mobile phone signal works, Lee? By the power of the Lord. No. No. They actually transmit on microwaves. Do they? Yeah. Now, it's the very same thing that you find in your microwave oven. Well, that's something I've learned today. Yes, so it's all about learning, right? So what we're actually going to do is prove this by cooking an egg. Get out of town. Using your phone. Get out of town and the country and possibly the continent. <laughs> cool. So what we're going to do is we're going, I'm going to phone you. Oh. Because you need to actively be using the phone. Okay. Okay. So, contacts. 
I'm sorry, have you on block? I'll just don't block you. Yeah, you're going to just block me. You ringing? No. Oh, I am now. Okay. Right. So yeah, answer the phone. Answer it. It's a private number. I don't know who That's, it is. It's my number. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, I've just told you I'm ringing. And then all you're going to do is pop your phone down. Okay. Right? And then I've given you a bit of tissue to help you just stop it from rolling rolling the egg. So pop the, the tissue on. Okay. On the phone. And then pop the egg on top of the tissue. The egg on top of the tissue. Oh my goodness. Okay. Doesn't appear to want to stay. That's because your case is ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just going to leave that because it's going to take some time to cook the egg. About a year. No, it, it doesn't take that long. Okay. It's scary how, how long. So in the meantime, we're going to have a little bit of fun with the dry white marker. Oh, again. <laughs> yes. Um, now, you've got a plate. I do have a plate. Now, dry white ink is something called hydrophobic. Which is it means scared of water? It's not scared of water, but it doesn't interact with water. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, it, it gets repelled by water. Oh, okay. I like the water. And we can use that to make things move. Now, on your plate, I want you to draw a little stick figure. Okay, about half the size of the plate. In the middle? Wherever you want to, but you need to leave yourself room to do another one. Okay. Okay, and you want to make it very, very inky. Very inky. Very inky. So, I'm just doing one here like this. So don't just draw one line, draw a couple of lines to make sure there's lots and lots of dry white ink on there. I'm actually modelling mine after my own um, ripped physique. Okay. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> okay, so have you, have you drawn yourself a little person? Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. All right. Okay, so you've done little man? Yeah. Okay, and I said you can do a little fish. Where? Oh, somewhere else on the plate. Oh, Just okay. make sure that they don't touch. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a little fish. Do I have to colour it in? You can colour it in if you want to. Right, or you can just leave it as a line drawing. That's fine too. What a love heart. Uh -huh. Okay, just make sure they're very inky. Because what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it so that the water peels the images off mm. the plate. Oh my gosh. You have got to be freaking yanking my chain, Mike. I didn't touch your chain. I had this conversation before, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I take this bit very seriously. I know you do. <laughs> Too seriously, in fact. <laughs> um, okay, have, have, you, have you done... Have you done some little pictures? I have. I've got a person, I've got a fish, and I've got a love heart. Okay, well, I've, I've got a person, a fish, and a Christmas tree. Oh, how lovely. Yes, with a hole bit in the middle. Okay. Because I can. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to blow on it gently to make sure it's dry. It needs to be very dry. Very dry. This is great, Telly, this, yeah, isn't it? Is. it? Okay, and once you've blown on it, and it's definitely dry, you should have a glass of water. Yes, I do. Okay, and then you want to very slowly and carefully pour the water onto the plate using the lip. Okay, you go okay. first. I'll do it first. Straight. So I'm just going to pour the water down the edge. There we go. And then what will start to happen is they'll start to peel off. Will it though? So yeah, see the fish has started to go. The little fish has started to peel up there. Oh, it's doing it already, Mike. Yeah. Not... Yeah. My fish has gone a bit... Gone a bit what? Weird. It's folded in on itself. Folded in on itself. Yeah. But it should unfold, because if you look, my tail's unfolded now. And if you just agitate the water... This is why I'm wearing gloves. Um, you'll start to see things start peeling off. So, like, my Christmas tree starting to come away here. Have you managed to pull your man off? His pain's lifting up. Well, we've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you lift them off? Oh, mine's my, just disintegrated. My Christmas tree didn't do very well. 
Um, but my fish is free. My fish just disintegrated, Mike. It's okay, because now my fish is swimming. And my man is my man's disintegrated. Always oh, kicking, always oh, kicking himself in the face. Yeah, <laughs> it's very flexible. Isn't that isn't that fun and clever? It is, Mike. Yeah. Yeah, because now the egg should have cooked. This is the piece de resistance. Yeah. Is it? Now you know that in the past. Um, these lessons haven't gone very well. That's, no, they that haven't, is. Mike. Um, there's only one real way of testing if the egg is cooked. Oh, God. And that's to crack it on ourselves. I'm going to crack it on the table on my hand. So I'll let you go firstly. Okay. See if it's worked. It's not warm. The egg's not warm, Mike. It's microwaves that don't make things hot. They agitate the water molecules. Things are so, hot when I take them out of the microwave. Yeah, that's just, just because it's a different type of microwave energy. Okay, I'm going to crack it on my hand. Okay. Oh, I've broken my bone! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Ow, Mike, it hurts! It hurts, so I think, Mike! I think that might mean it's cooked then. Can I just crush it? You can just crush it then, yeah. It's not, it's not a real egg, is it? It's a real egg, so I'll do mine. It's... Mike! Oh! Uh, uh. Ooh! It's boiled! The hard-boiled egg. So it's cooked the egg? I don't think that's true. I think you did that before. I think you pre-boiled it at home. You think I pre-boiled an egg? Yeah, and then put it on there to... That... There is no way in, like... Five minutes that a, an well, egg it, sat it, on a. It was seven minutes. Because right. well, if that's what that uh -huh. does, to, if that's what your phone does to an egg, yeah. what's it doing to your tiny, tiny brain? Exactly. That's that's the thing that people remember when we're like everyone was concerned about microwave energy and it destroying your brain and using your hands free kit instead of using a having a phone to your face. <gasps> There's a reason. Oh my gosh. Because yeah. phones do use microwave energy. It is at a different frequency to the microwave that you use at home, which means it doesn't actually cook the egg, and I have done that at home. Before. You lie. You live on a bed of lies. But yeah, it worked. <laughs> That's science, that is. That's science, that is. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's why you shouldn't believe everything that's on TV and everything that's in, on sort of the internet, because it's... A stuff throne like, of lies. It, yeah, it does use microwave energy, but it's different types, so it doesn't mean it's the same stuff, so, yeah. I'm going to put my phone in a plastic bag and use it from now on. People did that, thinking that would stop uh, microwave radiation. It's not how it works. It's going to do that. It's going to do that. Yeah, tinfoil. Tinfoil hat. Tinfoil hat. Hmm? Yeah. Well, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And, of course, on YouTube and podcasts. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. It works, so. You can just make it.